good morning today I'm gonna show you how to simulate your Verilog codes using Icarus Verilog and then display the waveform with the GTK wave software the first thing that you need to do is create your Verilog code so for example we have this inverter module I have already placed here the code for the inverter. We have the input A and then the output Y invert, Y inf. Now this is the combinational code for the inverter. We have the we have here a sign in the space Y inf equals not A. This is symbol for this is the symbol for invert or not. So it inverts every bit of A, but since A is declared as a one bit variable, one bit signal, so it will just invert that one bit. After creating this inverter module, we also have to make or to create the test bench, test bench module. I named the test bench, test bench module inverter underscore TB. So A equals zero, A is initialized. To zero after 10 time unit delay we inverted a we assigned a equal to 1 or high and after another 10 unit delay time delay we assigned a back to zero then again after time in 10 time unit delay we assign it back to 1 so we expect A to change from 0 to 1 to 0 to 1. And then we will observe the output Y invert. We add this code here, dump file, and then inverter underscore ins. Is this right? Let's check the instruction here. Hmm. Inverter underscore ins that VCD and then just copy whatever you name the dump file here. This will produce the inverter underscore ins that VCD file, which you will need when you display the waveform in the GTK wave software. So you need this code so that you can observe the output in the waveform using GTK wave. By the way, I I have saved these files in the location of my .exe files. For example, where is that? The location of my Icarus Verilog software, this iverilog.exe application is in C dash iverilog backslash iverilog underscore windows under backslash bin. So I placed here my inverter that P and inverter underscore TB that P files. Next, so we have placed the file already. To the location of our .exe file, 
then in the location bar we type CMD let's type CMD here CMD and then enter if we check type there we are inside the C backslash iverlog underscore windows backslash pin location so all we just need to do and we can see the file inverter that be here and invent inverter underscore tb that v in the same location as our iverlog that exe file next is that let's do it let's run with same as this line so I will type here either log minus o dsn and the name of your test bench wait I have already generated that VCD. Let's let me remove it first so that it will be not be confused. So there's no VCD file here and we will generate the VCD file. Iverlog inverter tab inverter dot V forgot I forgot the minus O. DSN. No er error appeared during the during the <coughs> generation of that PCD file. If there's an error in your code, it will appear in this area. So there's no error and we have generated our VCD file. Refresh, where's the VCD file? I can't see that. that. No VCD file has been generated. Why is that? Oh, VCD file is not yet generated. We need to run this VVP space TSN. So VVP space TSN. So dump file inverter underscore ins that we see open for output. Type dear. There's already a VCD file. Here. Now we're ready to display the output with GTK Wave. Let's go to the bin of the GTK Wave. Let's copy the VCD now. So that will be easy for us. We we'll have to worry about the location of the file. If we place the file where the, that .xc is located. So we have the VCD and we have the GTK wave .xc file. Then we type CMD. If we check the directory. So many files. Okay, let's just type the gtk wave and the name of the vcd file so here gtk wave will start running if you click the inverter instance inverter instance we have these two wires here click up and up and so it displayed 
the y inverter then a so let's move a above our input is a and their output is y invert our expectation is that whatever the value of a y invert will just be the invert of a so zero one zero it will just invert the output so y invert is 1, 0, 1. So we have verified through the waveforms that our inverter is functioning correctly. So that's how we use iVerilog and GTK Wave in Windows. Thank you for watching.